All right, ladies, these lipsticks and lip glosses are in no particular order. The first lippy that I have on is called Myth, and it's a MAC lipstick, and it's a nude. And I pair that with a lip gloss on top, and the one that I have is a luster glass, and it's instant gold. This is instant gold right here. And I will also swatch Myth. And these two together make a great combination. I pair it with a regular brown lip liner and the one that I have is from NYX that I use today. So this is MAC and Instant Go. The next shade is Fresh Brew from MAC and it's a luster. That is the swatch of it and it's just a real natural shade that you can wear without a lip liner. Also top it off with Obviously Bare and this is also a MAC lip glass and I believe it's limited edition but they still have it at the counters so I'll just put that on top. Alrighty, so the next shade that I have on is called Photo and it's a satin from MAC. And it's just a brown. And I paired that with the liner from NYX, which is a brown lip liner. So these two made this lip combination. Ladies, the next shade is Pure Zen and it's also a MAC lipstick and it's a cream shade. Had this by itself I didn't put on a lip liner but if I did I would probably go with something like cork or either um, plum from MAC but um, this can be worn by itself and it's a pink let me swatch it for you all all right ladies we're getting into the darker fall shades and this one is called cherry bomb and it's from wet n wild I paired this with Max Current Lip Liner. All right, ladies, and the next shade is a MAC lipstick and it's called Sin. It's also a matte lippy. And it's a little bit, I wanna say, let me see. Matter of fact, let me swatch the two. This one is Sin from MAC and I'm gonna swatch Cherry Bomb. That's Cherry Bomb and this is MAC. Cherry Bomb has a little bit of more of a reddish burgundy, but they're both beautiful on the lips. Okay ladies, the next shade that I have on is from Melt Cosmetics and it's called By Starlight and it's also a matte lippy. I suggest that you put on a lip balm underneath. It's a little dry, but it's a very pretty shade. And I, I paired it with a um, Nika K liner called Royal Purple and it, had, it has a little bit of glitter in the liner. I'll come close. You probably can't see that but it looks really pretty on and yeah like I said you might want to put a lip balm underneath but it's a very pretty shade so this is one of the purples for you all that love purple lipsticks shade that I have on is max ruby Woo, and it's a matte and this is a very pretty red I don't really care for red lippies but if I had to wear one this would be it right here it just flatters my complexion and it looks nice on the lip so um, again this is Max Ruby Woo and I paired it with cherry liner so the Mac next lippie well. is from Mac so and it's called so chart and it's a orangey red this is also a matte lippy and I paired it with chicory liner from MAC as well and I put a little bit of um, NYX brown liner on so that um, 
it won't look so orangey but it'll like define my lip a little bit if that makes sense so yeah this is so chart ladies this is the last lippy that I'm gonna show you and it's from Sephora number seven it is my favorite my absolute favorite I love to rock this in the fall and winter um, I paired it with current lip liner and one thing about this lippy I love it because it feels non-drying and it lasts a long time uh, you can eat with it it won't come off and um, it just looks good um, I like it because it's a little bit different from the lippy from Mac believe the name of it is thin they all have different looks uh, but this one right here is just like awesome so um, with that being said I hope you all like don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this thumbs up the video all right I'll see you bye bye